Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Code 4. In this video, we will be learning how to construct a flowchart. And we will be discussing a couple of example sums. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you subscribe so you get the best videos to get a star in your computer science ID CSE. That being said, let's get started. Here's how to learn better, not longer. Here is a small snip from the syllabus. We need flowcharts to be learnt and it is asked in section B, either in the first question or you also have to fill the trace table understanding the flowchart. So make sure to watch until the end. We have a special playlist on pseudocode basics where we will be teaching you to write pseudocode from scratch. They are made into playlists and you can view them. They are short and up to the point so you can rely upon this. We also have different playlists dedicated to increase your marks in exam. So check the playlist section in our channel page. In this video, we will be learning what is a flowchart, how to draw a flowchart, and we will be explaining you how to draw a flowchart, one of the questions from past paper. First, let us understand what is a flowchart. A flowchart shows diagrammatically the steps required for a task and the order that they are to be performed. These steps together with the order are called an algorithm. Here are some symbols which you have to remember so that you can construct a flowchart. An oval represents a start or end point. A line is a connector that shows relationships between representative shapes. You can also call it arrow. A parallelogram represents input or output. A rectangle represents process. A diamond indicates decision. A circle represents page connector. Now let us see some mathematical operators and comparison operators with cis used in flowchart. This plus symbol is for addition. This subtraction symbol is for subtraction. This asterisk symbol is for multiplication. The slash symbol is for division. The raise to the power symbol is this one. And the bracket open bracket close is group. The comparison operators include greater than less than, equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, group and and means both or means either and not means not. So now our task is to construct a flowchart for this pseudocode shown here. If you understand pseudocode, you can know this. If you don't know what is a pseudocode, Please refer our pseudocode basics playlist so you can write pseudocode easily. So here they declared A, B, C variables. A is 0, B is 0 and C is set as 100. And there is a repeat until loop used that is input x. If x is greater than b, then b is x. Else if x is less than c, then c is x. Then a is incremented by 1 until a is equal to 10. And at last, we have to print the value of B and C. So, this is the flowchart for the pseudocode. First, you have to draw oval and write start. Then, you have to draw a rectangle. This is for process. When you declare variables or declare constants, you have to use this. Here, they have mentioned A is 0, B is 0 and C is 100. So, in the rectangle, you have to write A is 0, B is 0, and C is 100. Then, we have to use, use an arrow and connect it with a parallelogram stating input x. Then, since less than or greater than or decision making things, you have to use a diamond symbol. The first diamond symbol will state x is greater than b, like the pseudocode. Then, if x is greater than b, there will be two arrows connected to the diamond symbol. One going for yes and one going for no. 
if x is greater than b the path taken would be s then you draw a rectangle symbol and connect it with x is equal to b if x is not greater than b then it will come to another decision making symbol stating if x is less than c if this is true c is equal to x or if this is also false then a is equal to a plus 1 so incrementation occurs in a process symbol that is rectangle then you connect all these arrows to this one and then there is another decision making symbol since less than symbol is used that is if a is less than 10 if a is less than 10 then you have to go to start and this process will repeat until a is greater than 10 so then you have to use a parallelogram symbol and write output b comma c as stated in the pseudo code and at last connect an arrow with an oval and write end this is how you draw the flow chart for this pseudo code i hope you understand Now let us see a past paper question. Write an algorithm to input three different numbers and then output the largest number. Use either pseudo code or a flow chart. We will discuss answer for both pseudo code and flow chart. So watch until the end. First, let's see how to draw a flow chart for this question. So first, you have to draw an oval and write start. Then connect an arrow with a parallelogram symbol. for collecting the input from the user the input should state input three numbers a comma b comma c after the user completes the input we have to do the decision making first we have to compare a with b and c so we write is a is greater than b is a greater than c so each decision making box should have yes or no if there is yes it should go to next box if there is no it should go to next box so if a is greater than b it proceeds to next box and it task is a greater than c if that is also true it moves to the next parallelogram symbol for output it states print the greatest number is comma a suppose a is not greater than b then it moves to next decision making box asking is b greater than c if b is greater than c obviously b is the greatest number so there is another output connected stating print the greatest number is b suppose if b is less than c c would become greatest number so an parallelogram symbol is connected it states print the greatest number is comma c all the final output is connected to a novel stating end This is how you draw the flow chart for the pseudo code. Is it easy? Comment below. As I told you earlier, we will also be looking at the pseudo code for the same problem. So there are two answers, two possible answers for this question. Let me tell you what are they. The first one. First, you input number one. Then you have to consider number one as the biggest value. So in you declare a variable big and make it number 1 then you input number 2 comma number 3 if number 2 is greater than big then big is number 2 end of since you used an if statement then if number 3 is greater than big then big is number 3 end of since you used an if statement and at last you have to print big this is one way the another way is input number 1 number 2 number 3 if number 1 is greater than number 2 and number 1 greater than number 3 and means both or means either as i told you earlier in the video then print number 1 end of whenever you use a if you have to use end of if number 2 is greater than number 1 and number 2 greater than number 3 then print number 2 end of If number three is greater than number one and number three is greater than number two, then print number three. End of. This is how you write the pseudo code for the problem. I hope you understand. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.
Make sure you subscribe and make sure to support us by your comments. Thanks for 450 subscribers.